Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how you can watch and navigate YouTube using this AI-powered knowledge graph that shows you the main ideas inside the video and how they're related to one another and allows you to jump to the parts of the content that are relevant to you. So for example here if I select autoimmune and gut and then click locate it's going to jump to the part of the video where he's talking exactly about those subjects. And moreover, if let's say I would like to explore this concept on YouTube a little bit better, I can click on this button here and it's going to perform a search directly on YouTube for the same topics and show me some of the related videos uh, that are connected to this topic. So I can explore this concept through different videos, different channels and learn more about it and then kind of click and navigate to the parts of content and ideas that I find relevant and interesting. So if you'd like to know how it works, keep watching and I will demonstrate step by step. I did a video also, recently please, uh, on the number subscribe to this channel so you can get informed about new videos and that it can get recommended to people who might be interested in the subject. In this demonstration, I will be using an app that I developed called Infranotus, which is available both as a browser extension that you can see right now on your screen, but also as the main app that is uh, also available through the browser. I will be using the extension in this demonstration, but I will also show you how you can use it with the main app. So when you open a video, like in this case, I chose uh, the video on most inflammatory foods in the world because I I'm did a video interested recently to explore the number this topic of which foods are inflammatory. But I kind of know the subject, so I want to jump to the parts that I find relevant directly without watching the whole thing. So I will click here. Uh, it might also be pinned at the top panel bar of your browser and once you open it then you expand the screen, zoom in and you can see the main ideas inside the video. So for instance I see that he's talking about gut uh, and inflammation, right? So if I click here on gut and inflammation then after that if I click locate it's going to jump exactly to the parts of the video where he's talking about the subject. So then if I click inflammation and then you have the carnivores over here saying it's the fiber that's causing inflammation, so, so they get fiber. rid of all the fiber and the plants, and uh, all their inflammation goes away. So this is really... So, as you can see, I click on the terms, and then it shows me what else it's connected to, and then I jump to the parts of the video where he's talking about the subject. If, let's say, on the other hand, uh, I'm interested, what is he actually saying about tobacco companies? I click on tobacco company here, click locate, and... Yes. This is a little short story, but I wanted to tell you a little bit about the tobacco industry. These companies uh, got to a point where there was just too much mounting evidence that proves that smoking is bad for you. Okay, this we know, but it's interesting to know that it's connected to gut and inflammation. So that might be relevant for those who are uh, into smoking, right? And if we click on some other parts, like for instance here, microbes, then we can learn more about microbes. So it's a great way to explore content because I jump to the parts that are relevant to me and also it allows me to explore the content in a non-linear way. If I don't want to just look at the graph but I want to see what are the main topics inside, I can click here on topics and then it shows me the main topics which are identified using AI which were detected um, in this particular video. So that gives me a nice high level overview of the main ideas inside. For example, I see that he's talking about inflammation control, microbe management, uh, anti-inflammation, uh, tobacco companies that we just looked at, autoimmune allergies. So let's say I would like to know more about allergies. I can click here and then if I click this button again, I'm going to jump to the part of the video where he's talking about those autoimmune allergies. So if I click also play again. I'll tell you that, but it doesn't really explain when a carnivore cuts out the fiber, man, that they feel better, like their autoimmune diseases clear up, their allergies clear up. So you see it's interesting because he's talking about how a change in a diet can lead to a clearing up of autoimmune allergies and specifically what you have to do in order to achieve that. Now, if you'd like to jump to some interesting part of the video uh, that you find is exploring the subjects that might be connected but are not yet well related inside the content, you can also click gaps here. And then if you click reload, then it's going to regenerate some gaps for you showing um, some interesting connections between the topics that are maybe not fully explored in the video, but that can help you generate new ideas. So for example, here, uh, let's say, I can see what is the connection between inflammation control and autoimmune allergies. That's almost like a research topic. 
I can click locate and jump to the part where he's talking about this. I can also click here and see those uh, statements or the parts of the subtitle that are related in context. So that allows me to also jump to the parts that I find relevant. If I click here on locate and helps me understand a little bit better uh, where he's talking exactly about this content. Now, if you would like to navigate away from this content and explore uh, what other videos on YouTube are talking about those topics, you can reset this view. And then let's say, I want to see what he's saying about allergy and gut and autoimmune, for instance, right? So here I can click on this play button and what's gonna happen is that Infranodus extension will perform search on the concepts that I selected. So I see all the videos on the subject here in the graph, I can see some kind of like an overview of the search results, right? So for example, I see there's something about diet here. If you click here, you have diet. Then you have something on autoimmune conditions, science, microbiome, supplements, and so on. So for example, let's say I would like to know more about microbiome and gut. I select here and then it selects the video for me, which is talking about those topics, which happens to be the first one in the list. So I click on that video and then in food allergy, this leaky gut. And then I visualize the content of the video. And for example, in the previous one, we had something about a uh, meat diet and here I see protein. So I directly make a connection that maybe there's something interesting about protein and diet. So I'm going to click on protein and diet, click locate. And then let's hear current what understandings of how dysbiosis or a poor microbiome, as well as resulting modifications of the gut epithelium can lead to autoimmune disease. Finally, I will discuss current clinical recommendations to prevent and or manage autoimmune conditions by focusing on nutrition and diet. Okay, that's great. Then we can locate another part in, in the video where she's talking about that. So that was like an overview. And for example, here we see directly how she's talking about um, the proteins in foods and how they're important to digestion and gut flora. So we can click On the here. immune system being able to differentiate threats from the many benign foreign molecules that our body also encounters, such as the proteins in foods. All right, so we can see that sometimes the problem may arise when the body doesn't differentiate well between different types of molecules. And this can also happen in relation to proteins. And so on. So you see, we can kind of explore the videos in this nonlinear way, jumping from one video to another and visualizing the content and seeing uh, what we can discover this way. If you find something you like, you can always copy this here into uh, your clipboard and save it into your notes. And a very interesting feature is that you can also use the AI to generate a summary or a new idea. So for example, let's say if you're not interested to listen uh, the video itself, but you just want to summarize the content of the video, you click here, and then it's going to extract the subtitles that relate to protein and diet, and then present you an idea that connects uh, um, all those concepts, but uh, drawing on the original video you're watching as the source of truth, right? So it kind of summarizes the part of the video which you highlight with the graph that relates to your interests, which is a really useful way of summarizing stuff. Instead of getting a generic one that talks about the whole video, now you suddenly can summarize only the aspects uh, that you find interesting. And they're visualized for you in the graph even, so you can clearly see what they connect to and so on, right? So here I see that how it's talking about Mediterranean diets and DASH diets that can protect against autoimmune conditions by supporting healthy mic microbiome. And What's great if, let's say, um, I see some part of this that I find interesting, I can click on this chat button and then I say, okay, I want to choose this part and say, can you explain how? And if I click here, it's going to ask this question to the video using the built-in AI and generate a response for me that will explain why the statement was actually generated. So that's great because I don't only generate the summaries, but I can also ask the built-in AI that is available through Infranodus, it's using GPT-4 under the hood, uh, to, to actually tell me how, how did you generate this content? Where, where did you take it from, right? And to be more specific, so I can see that uh, they were mentioning Mediterranean and DASH diets because uh, they're rich in antioxidants from vitamins E, A, and D, 
and they're linked to healthy immune function. So that kind of explains why those uh, diets can be useful. And also how uh, the, the, the synergy minimizes inflammation by maintaining intestinal barrier integrity against autoimmune triggers. So here we learned something about this topic. And once we're done, we can open it again, uh, reset the selection and jump to the new parts. So for example, protein, immune system here, right? And then I can generate a summary or I also have an, uh, an option to generate a research question or an idea. So if you're studying the subject, you want to kind of develop it further, I would recommend use AI generated questions or ideas because it will ask you questions that help you think about it in an original way, connecting those concepts that you, that you find relevant and helping you push uh, the content of the video further. So you're not just watching it, but you're thinking with the AI in order to develop this idea further. So this is how it works. You can try it out on infranodus.com and also let me know if you have any questions about how it works and uh, if you have any feedback. Thank you.